Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we will learn about how to check if a cell value match to a list in Excel or not. Let's say you have one element in one sheet and a set of elements in a different sheet. If you want to find it or if you want to find a match of one single element, it's very easy. Just use the match function or a lookup function or an index match function, correct? But let's say you have a list of elements that need to be matched with another one. Interesting, right? That's exactly what we are going to do today. So that said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. Just for a quick and yourself, master data analytics skills and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various data analytics programs. Simply Learn offers postgraduate programs from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. Through this program, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like prescriptive and predictive analytics, regression, classification, and over a dozen others. That's not all, you also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts in top tier of our companies and academics from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a data analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a data analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now, without further delay, let's get started with the demonstration for today's session. Now, we have opened the Microsoft Excel workbook. Here, let's say we have a fingerprint ID for all the employees in a company. Now, we have about 500 fingerprints here, 501 fingerprints right over here right all these employees belong to different different departments let's say hr department development testing sales marketing etc right now here in the second sheet i have a specific list of employees from hr department let's say i have about 42 fingerprint ids here right now what i have to do is i have to create a match function and identify all the 42 HR department employees in sheet 2 and tag them in sheet 1. Let's say this particular ID belongs to an HR department. Then I should be writing here employee from HR department. Correct? Now we have 42 entries. It is fine. But let's say we had 440 or 450 entries. Now, would you manually go and, uh, you know, copy this and go to this sheet, find control paste and find all. Would you do this task manually? Would you do this match list manually, right? 440 times. This is truly time consuming, right? If there was one single formula which you can use and identify all those 450 employees in one go, it could be a miracle, right? Now that's exactly what we are going to do today. So we will be using an if condition. We will be using an is num function. And along with that, we will use the match function. So these are the three functions that we are going to combine together and try to identify the match between the two lists and give an end result if the employee belongs to the HR department or not, right? Now let's do that quickly. Now let me write the formula equals to if condition press tab to select it now the logical test is at number so you might be having a question is number since we have uh, the data in a mix and match it's a number plus text will this work for only numbers or will this only work for alphabets no worry it works with both numbers as well as character type data types now i'm going to select the is number function now comes the match function so use the match function, press tab to select, now the lookup value. So the first lookup value will be this particular value which is in the cell A2. Don't worry, it will automatically change when the formula enters to the next cell, right? When it enters to A3, it will, I mean, when it enters to B3, this A2 will become A3. So no doubt on that, now it will be A2, comma, 
the lookup array. Which array should I look to find the match? So the lookup array is right over here. I'm ignoring A1. We are starting from A2, 2, all the way up till A43. So we have provided the lookup range or lookup array. Now the match type. We want the exact match no matter what right so press tab to select the exact match now close this particular match function now if this condition matches then we should be typing it as or we should be getting an end result as employee belongs to hr department and if not you can just so you know kind of write another text so the formula is not completely closed okay just ignore it okay now we have to close the brackets with the leading values so the match function is closed and after that we need to close the is number function now comes to the uh, if condition so if it is true then add this particular value that is employed from hr department if not other department okay other or you can also leave it as blank okay so this is the formula press enter so this particular id belongs to other department let's eliminate this now let's drag okay let's name it as emp department details now let's drag the formula across there you go now you can also add a boundary border and now you can add a filter and uh, filter this particular table for employee from hr department and uh, there is a small error in the formula but no problem let's remove the filter and check the error i think it should be about fixing the ranges so let's fix the range function f4 so we want uh, the column to be fixed and the row numbers can change and here the range what we are looking at so let's give the range once again now let's fix the fix the range f4 to fix there you go now enter and we can also remove this for now i don't think we need this enter and now drag the formula yes there you go we have all the 42 entries so previously there was a small fixing error so we need to fix the range of elements that we are looking at now just eliminate the blanks and just select employee ids and there you go you have all your 42 employees present in the hr department so that's exactly how you use the match function to match a list of elements from, from one array and match it with another array. And with that, we have finished this session. So thank you. At the end, if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require any assistance like PPT or demo formulas or the data, please do let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your... Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.